Sagittarius moon. How's it going? If you have anything in Sagittarius, this may resonate with you. But I do make these moon readings with the moon signs in mind. If you don't know your moon sign, you can go to astro.com. It's free. Put in your date, time, location of birth, and you'll get your luminaries, all the planets, and asteroids. Uno mas. That's a beautiful day of start. Maybe the copas, the nine of cups. Thumbnail. The most positive card in the deck, the sun, El Sol. Three of cups, trace the copas. King of swords, rey de espadas. Seven of wands, seven of bastos. Siete de bastos. Oh, cool. Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros. Okay, so it looks good. This is what I'm seeing. There is a lot of potential here. That's really strong to start with Nine of Cups and then to have the Sun and to have these two signifiers, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, but you're separated by the Seven of Wands, which is a card of resistance. Three of Cups, that's something casual, friends with benefits, situationship. This is what I'm seeing. Maybe it started off as something casual is this really exuberant, high-spirited, fun, uh, fling, a fun flirtation? This person is fighting, falling in love with you. They don't want to fall in love. Maybe it's the timing. Maybe this is long distance and this person is really in love with their life wherever they live say they're in paris and you're in vancouver you're in melbourne they're in barcelona i don't know there could be tremendous distance and they're in love with their life they like their job they like their friends they have their family they have their home and they don't want to relocate um they could be thinking way ahead into the future and and they're overthinking. They're thinking, this is not going to work because of X, Y, Z. So let's just keep it casual. They want to keep you in the friend box. They want to keep you in the friend zone. Okay? They want to keep it casual. Although, they like you a lot. They could be falling in love, but they're resisting this. You make them laugh. You turn them on. They like you. They may love you. Um, they're scared. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Aquarius. Cancer rising. Moon and Leo. One possibility of many. Please clarify Nine of Cups over King of Swords. One card. Five of Cups. They could still be getting over an X or not to be morbid, but hell, it's a part of life. It happens. It's, it's pretty common. They could be getting over someone they lost to death. A lover, wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, someone they lost to death. Could be a family member. And they're in mourning and they're not ready to be in this bright, happy place. On some level, they feel... <clears throat> They feel this sense of guilt, like if they really commit to this connection with you and they feel good and they're happy, they feel this guilt like they should still be sad. They should be mourning this loss, whatever it is, whoever it is they lost. Please clarify the sun over seven of wands, one card. The emperor. So regardless of gender or sexuality, this person is very masculine. They probably have a lot of 
air and fire in their natal chart. They come across like they're very confident, very on top of things. They have a good career. Money's not a problem. They have a good life, but something is missing here. And I feel like they've lost someone recently who meant a great deal to them. And they are not ready to love deeply. They don't want to fall in love and then lose you, is what I'm getting. Please clarify Three of Cups over Queen of Pentacles, one card. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune is always turning. It doesn't play favorites. They want to keep things up in the air. They want to keep things casual. They do not want to fall in love is what I'm getting. They are resisting this. They're fighting this tooth and nail. Any words of advice for Sagittarius Moon? Six additional cards. Four of Wands, Cuatro de Bastos. Two of Swords, Dos de Espados. Six of Pentacles, Seis de Oros. Las de Bastos, Ace of Wands. Ten of Cups, Diaz de Copas. Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros. And I don't usually get into the past life stuff. I don't get into karma, karmic connections, twin flames, soulmates. I talk about this stuff very sparingly. I just, I'm very situated in the here and now. I'm very down to earth. Um, so not to get too deep into this, but this is what I'm just picking up. Maybe it was really super intense between the two of you in a previous incarnation and something tragic happened. They lost you to death or you lost them, something really tragic um, there's something about you that scares the hell out of them and you can attribute it to whatever a previous incarnation their childhood uh, I don't know a relationship that ended badly and they don't want to repeat experience. They don't want to give their heart to someone again. They're scared of the pain. They're scared of rejection. Something is keeping them from really diving in and committing to this connection with you. They're only going so far. They're only getting so deep. Um, but they're losing control. They're, they're trying to fight this, but you're really making an impact on this person. I see them falling in love with you. And it scares the hell out of them. That is what I have. I hope that helps. I am always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the infos in the box below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.